In a world where the sun never rises, young Samuel found himself apprenticed to the great inventor and artist, Leonardo da Vinci. Samuel was a curious and imaginative boy of twelve, eager to learn everything he could from his master. His days were filled with wonder as he watched da Vinci create incredible machines and paint breathtaking portraits. One day, as Samuel was cleaning the studio, he stumbled upon a hidden blueprint. It detailed an invention that da Vinci had been working on in secret, a flying machine. Samuel was overcome with excitement and couldn't resist the temptation to share his discovery with his best friend, Brian, a clever and mischievous bear who had been his companion since childhood. Samuel and Brian spent hours poring over the blueprint, trying to decipher its intricate design. They marveled at da Vinci's genius and dreamed of the adventures they could have with a flying machine. But their excitement soon turned to worry when they overheard two men plotting to steal the invention. Samuel knew he had to protect his master's work, so he devised a plan. With Brian's help, they would hide the blueprint in a secret compartment and guard it with their lives. They worked tirelessly, setting traps and creating distractions to keep the thieves at bay. As the days passed, Samuel became more and more paranoid. He couldn't trust anyone, not even his fellow apprentices. He kept a close eye on everyone, searching for any signs of treachery. The tension in the studio grew, and Samuel's once joyous days turned into a constant battle of wits. One evening, as Samuel was working late, he noticed a shadowy figure sneaking towards the secret compartment. His heart raced, and he knew it was now or never. Samuel confronted the intruder, ready to defend da Vinci's invention with his life. To his surprise, the intruder turned out to be none other than da Vinci himself. Samuel was taken aback, unable to comprehend why his master would be sneaking around in the dead of night. But da Vinci quickly explained that he had suspected a plot against his invention and had been testing Samuel's loyalty. Relieved and slightly embarrassed, Samuel realized that da Vinci had been preparing him for this very moment. His master had seen the potential in him and wanted to ensure that Samuel was ready to protect his work. Samuel felt a surge of pride and gratitude for da Vinci's trust. From that day forward, Samuel and da Vinci worked side by side, perfecting the flying machine. With Brian's help, they made improvements and added their own touches to the design. The invention was finally complete, and Samuel couldn't contain his excitement. On the day of the grand unveiling, Samuel stood next to da Vinci, his heart pounding with anticipation. The crowd gasped in awe as the flying machine soared through the air, defying gravity. Samuel beamed with pride, knowing that he had played a crucial role in its creation. In the end, Samuel learned that trust and loyalty were invaluable qualities. He had not only protected da Vinci's invention but had also proven himself as a worthy apprentice. With his master's guidance and Brian's unwavering support, Samuel had overcome a great challenge and discovered his own potential as an inventor. As the sun finally rose on their world, Samuel looked forward to the countless adventures that awaited him, knowing that he would forever cherish the lessons learned during his time as da Vinci's apprentice.